Hi, for this video what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly show you how to find a critical value using your TI-84 graphing calculator. Um, if you have an older TI-84 or if you have a TI-83, unfortunately you are not able to do this in that calculator. You would just have to check to see if yours has this. If not, you can try to update it, but I know the TI-83s for sure do not have them. Um, to use the TI-84 graphing calculator, what you would do is you still need to know your degrees of freedom. So our degrees of freedom would be n minus 1, so that's 24. And you have to know your area. Area would be alpha. So remember what we're looking for is we're looking for the t value that corresponds to the shutoff point of our alpha value. So we're looking for this t sub 0. Um, like I said, in some textbooks, they use t star instead. It Just look at your textbook. It means the same thing. So what we're going to do for the left tail is if, like I said, if your calculator has it, you would use inverse T. And for this one, you need to know alpha and your degrees of freedom. Okay. Um, for the second one, you would do inverse T, and it does the same thing as the normal model. It is always starts from left to right, so you'd have to do 1 minus alpha degrees of freedom. And then... For the last one, you would do the inverse T half of your alpha with your degrees of freedom. So let's just go ahead and pull up the calculator and find all of these values, and then we will write them down. So for this one, um, this time we're going to go to second distributions, and we're going to look for inverse T. Like I said, some calculators are not programmed with this, so if yours does not have it, you would just have to use a table. So this would be 0.4. Our alpha for this one was 0 0.01, so we would just type in the 0 0.01. The degrees of freedom was our sample size minus 1. Just hit paste, and that's it, and you get your answer. It takes a while to compute the inverse T. It does take longer. Um, the other one, you would just do the same thing, except for you would do second distributions this time you would do 1 minus 0 0.01 and hit the same thing, hit paste. And so it would just be the opposite, the positive 2.49. Um, for the two-tail test, make sure that you don't just write both of these down. You would actually have to take half of the value. So I'm just going to go up and grab this and insert it in. It's not quite as easy, um, but... So I'm going to do second insert 0.5 times 0 0.01 and then hit enter. And this would give me my negative test statistic or my negative critical value, the negative 2.797. And then you would have to report both of these. So let me just go ahead and put them down. The left tail, like I said, was the negative 2.492. The right tail is the positive 2.492. And then the two tail, you would report both the 2.797 and the positive 2.797. As always, thanks for watching.